Hello, and welcome to the Mammal Nursery in the Wildlife Department at the SPCA. Every year we get hundreds of baby cottontail rabbits and baby squirrels that come through our wildlife hospital. Today we're going to go over some of the basics of what you can do if you find rabbits in your yard. Cottontail rabbits are oftentimes found in people's yards as they are an edge species, which means they like freshly cut lawns with a little bit of woodland nearby. So anyone's yard with gardens or woods nearby are perfect habitats for a mother rabbit to have her babies. So when you do find a rabbit nest, oftentimes you're going to see some dried grass and fur from the rabbit, and it'll be just in about a dinner size plate area. It's not a very big nest, but you may see just some movement underneath the fur and the dried grass. So that's perfectly fine if you do find them in your yard. If you do have dogs that use the yard, you can either keep them on a leash for the time that the rabbits are growing up in the nest. It's usually only about three and a half weeks from the time that the rabbits are born to the time that they're out on their own and able to fend for themselves. Or when the dogs are outside, you can put something over top the nest, like a milk crate or a recycling bin, as long as it's not too warm of a day, and you can weight it down so that your dogs can't get at the rabbits. You cannot move the nest. Even if you move it just a couple of feet from where it originally was, the mom is not going to return. So the mother rabbit is only going to come to the nest twice a day. If you're still unsure if the babies have been fed or not, you can certainly bring them, gather them up with some gardening gloves, put them in a nice warm box, and bring them to the SPCA, and we can check their hydration levels and see if it looks like they've got milk in their bellies. In which case, if they look good, we'll probably have you bring the rabbits back and cover them back up in the nest so mom can take care of them the rest of the way. As hard as we try in the wildlife department, it's always better for the baby mammals if they can spend time with their mother rather than having humans raise them. So when the rabbits are here, we'll stabilize them, we'll make sure they're well hydrated, and then we try to get them into our own wildlife foster care program where we have volunteers that will actually take a nest of bunnies up to five or six and they'll take them into their own home and they'll feed them twice a day until they're ready for release. 